I want to come. Am I part of the recipients of the mercy of God? I want to come. Am I part of the people that can taste of this goodness of the Lord? The people that can come now. If I can see my name there. If I can see my description there. If I can see that this mercy is for me. I'm sure I will lie to come. It says you are there. Look at this. Chapter 45 of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 22. Look unto me and be ye saved all the ends of the earth. That settles the question. It says you are there. Are you young? It says you can come. Are you old? It says you can come. Are you a man? It says you can come. Are you a woman? It says you can come. Are you a criminal? Of course you can come. Are you corrupt? It says you can come. It says look unto me. All ye they and be saved, all ye the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else is calling you. And it says that when you come, it's going to take all those iniquities. It's going to take everything away. How could he do that? How could he do that? Because somebody paid the price of your redemption. Somebody paid the price of your conversion and of your cleansing. Isaiah chapter 53, I'm reading from verse 6. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 6, all we like sheep have gone astray. All we like sheep, all, everybody, all have seen and come short of the glory of God. Nobody can say they're talking about them. They're talking about others. They're not talking about me. It's everybody because it says all we like sheep. I've gone astray, and where we have turned everyone to his own way. Look at this, and the Lord, and the Lord has laid on him, on Christ, on Jesus, on the Lamb of God, on the final sacrifice, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The iniquity of us all, that's why Jesus went to the cross of Calvary to take all your sins away. All your iniquities away. All your uncleanness away. And it says, if you're going to be a beneficiary, if the benefit of what Christ did on the cross is going to be for you, come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. And then he says, he'll wash you. Tonight, he'll do it for you. I said, tonight, he'll do it for you. Because whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thank God, I see somebody there, you are saved tonight. You are converted tonight. A change comes upon your life tonight. And then he says, I'll so close you in the garment of righteousness that things will not be the same anymore. Isaiah chapter 61, I'm reading from verse 10. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he has closed me with the garments of salvation. And he has covered me with the robe of righteousness. That's what he says he will do. And then this person now has come. And this person has returned to the Lord. And he says now I rejoice because of the joy of salvation. He says now I rejoice. I heard the invitation. I heard the call. I responded. And as I came, there was no disappointment tonight. There will be no disappointment in your life. I said there will be no disappointment in your life. Out there, out there, out there, you hear the invitation of the Lord and you come. A great thing is coming upon your way. A great thing is happening to you. And this great thing will become a thing of joy. The salvation of the Lord. The forgiveness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord. It says it is now you will come. Because this is the day of your salvation. This is the time of your salvation. Isaiah chapter 63. And I'm reading from verse 1. Isaiah 63 verse 1. Who is this? That cometh from Edom. With dyed garments from Bosra. This that is glorious in his apparel traveling in the in the uh, greatness of his strength he says i that speak in righteousness mighty to save i that speak in righteousness mighty to save the might of the lord to save is here tonight tonight is the night of your salvation as you respond you come come out of darkness 
As you respond, you come, you come out of defilement. As you respond, you come, you come out of iniquity. As you come and say, I heard, Lord, you are calling me. You said, come now. And let us reason together. Says the Lord. You said, even though my sins were red, like crimson, even though my sins were terrible, deeply double dye in evil that you're going to make me as white as snow, as white as wood. Lord, I come. And then cleansing will come to you. Is there an amen over there? Yeah. Conversion will come to you in Jesus' name. And if you have been a backslider, you knew the way of the Lord before, or you knew the way of righteousness before, something happened. That's an, old, that's an old story. Don't worry about what happened. You went away, but now the Lord is saying, the door of mercy is open today. And the gate of grace is open today. Keep on coming. As you come, the grace of God will do something unforgettable in your life in Jesus' name. Now, there is conversion. Not only that, there is cure from every disease. There is cure from every disease. That disease in your life will be taken away today. Why? Because Isaiah chapter 53, Isaiah chapter 53, undeniable cure for the sick. Undeniable cure for the sick. Isaiah chapter 53, I'm reading from verse 4, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And yet, we did esteem him stricken, smitten, of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for transgressions, and he was bruised for iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his tribes, and with his tribes, and with his tribes, were healed. Isaiah is saying, it's not only conversion, there's kill. I say, sin is not only salvation, there's total freedom from your sicknesses. And whatever sickness you have there today, the Lord will remove every sin in Jesus' name. With his stripes, with his stripes, with his stripes, we are healed. Isaiah chapter 29. Isaiah chapter 29. I'm reading here from verse 18. Isaiah chapter 29. And we're reading here from verse 18. See the kill. And see the healing that the Lord is providing for the people that come. And as you come, your healing is sure. I said your healing is sure. It says in chapter 29, verse 18, it says, And in that day, in that day, in that day, which is your day of healing? I said, which is your day of healing? It says in that day. They shall the deaf hear the words of the Lord. Deaf ears will open today. And the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity. Blind eyes will open today. And out of darkness those eyes will see. And the meek also shall, he shall increase their joy in the Lord. And the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. You will shout for joy. Yeah. Number one, he will forgive your sin. After that forgiveness, sickness, bye-bye forever. Infirmity, bye-bye forever. Weakness, bye-bye forever. Impotence, bye-bye forever. Blindness and deafness, bye-bye forever. You know, he forgives. And if after he has forgiven, then he heals. He takes away sin, and then he takes away sickness. That's what he does, and that's why he's calling you. That's why he says, come now, come now, and let us reason together. And he says, a change in your soul, a change in your spirit, and a change in your body. Isaiah chapter 33, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 24. And the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. The inhabitants, after you come to know the Lord, and then you dwell in the very presence of the Lord. He says, the people that dwell in the presence of the Lord, and the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. For the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Because the forgiveness has come, healing also comes. And therefore the people, the people that know the Lord, and the people that call upon the Lord, and the people that come now, and the people that respond to the invitation of the Lord. And when we pray for them in the name of the Lord, by the anointing that breaks the yoke, 
they will not say again, I am sick because all your sicknesses will vanish away. Somebody there said all your sicknesses will vanish away. And it doesn't matter the kind of sickness. Isaiah tells us your blind eyes will open. Your deaf ears will receive sound. And then your limb legs will rise up and you will walk majestically in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 35. I'm reading to, from verse 4. Isaiah chapter 35. And we're looking at it from verse 4. It says, Say to them that of a fearful heart, be strong and fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Somebody there, he will save you tonight. Verse 5, then, after that salvation, then, after that conversion, then, after you come to the Lord, the eyes of the blind shall be opened. I wanted, I thought you'd say, and you saw, Lord, amen there. The eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the dead shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an heart, and the tongue of the dumb shall sing. For in the wilderness there, are, there shall be waters that will break out, and streams in the desert. And streams in the desert. Isaiah chapter 57. Isaiah chapter 57. Your day of healing has come. Your day of redemption has come. In Isaiah chapter 57, verse 18, I have seen his ways, I will heal him. I have seen him, I, he knows you are there, he will heal you. It says, I will lead him also and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. The people who are mourning for you and mourning with you, the Lord will comfort you and comfort them. Isaiah 58, I'm reading from verse 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth. What's the next word there? Speedily. Very quickly tonight, healing has come for you. And thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be the rear watch. The Lord will support you tonight. And tonight, as you come to the Lord, salvation comes to you. Forgiveness comes to you. Conversion comes to you. And the power of the Lord will roll away all your infirmities in Jesus' name. If there's any attack in your life, if there's any occultic power that have been bothering your life tonight, all those yokes are broken in Jesus' name. Isaiah 54 verse 17. Isaiah 54 verse 17 no weapon that is fashioned formed against you shall prosper. I'm waiting for you. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. Because a new day has come. A day of salvation. A day of, for of forgiveness. A day of deliverance. And a day of healing. How does that happen? And how does that come? I read it to you, and I'm going to read it again. Verse, chapter 53 and verse 5. Chapter 53 and verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Make it personal. He was wounded for your transgression. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon him, and with his stripes. With his stripes, with his stripes, you are healed tonight. Salvation is available. But you know, he says, come now. Let us reason together, says the Lord. He says, though your sins be as scarlet, he'll wash them tonight, white as snow, whiter than snow. And though they be as red as crimson, he'll make them as white as wool. And he says, if you're willing, this day will be the day of your liberation. This day will be the day of your deliverance. And every yoke will be broken in your life in Jesus' name. He grants us salvation. He gives you salvation. And then after that, he gives you healing. He gives you deliverance. And he gives you cure from 
every infirmity. And that this night will be the night of your miracle, deliverance, and miracle salvation in Jesus' name. Everything is based on those two words. Come now. Shout that word. Come. Tell me out again. Say it again. Come now. You know, don't just be hearers of the word. Be doers of the word. Forgiveness is waiting for you. Peace of mind waiting for you. Your name to be written in the book of life. And for you to have the salvation and the joy and the victory in salvation. All based on those two words. Come now. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. God has come, not with judgment tonight. As bad as you are. As sinful as you are. He says, I want to remove judgment away from you. I want to remove judgment now. I remove judgment forever. So that even when you get to the great beyond, there will be no judgment. All I will seek of you will be mercy. Mercy. The mercy of forgiveness. And the mercy of salvation. That's why he's calling and says, come now. And if you want to take advantage of this privilege, and say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. You raise up your hand. You say, I'm coming for the salvation of the Lord. I want forgiveness. I feel guilty. I know I'm the dirty one. I know I'm the sinful one. I know I'm the corrupt one. I know I'm the defiled one. But I come. I come. I come for the mercy of God. And I want forgiveness. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. God bless you. God bless you. You're raising up your hand. It's a large crowd. I need to see you. And the Lord needs to see you. You will stand up wherever you are. You say, I want that salvation. I want that forgiveness wherever you are. You'll rise up wherever you are. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, do that very quickly. And you say, Lord, I want to have your forgiveness. I want to have your salvation anywhere you are. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. I want to have the forgiveness of the Lord. Raise up that hand and stand up and, and say, Lord, I come to you. Now, you know what he says? He says, come now. Don't say, Master, I'll do it tomorrow. i do it another time. He says, this is the day and this is the time of that forgiveness of that salvation and it says come that what come is a work that it's the one that sets you in motion that gets you out of where you are and then you come to him and if you're coming i know you are coming if you're coming i know you are coming if you're coming i know you are coming for mercy i know you are coming for salvation i know you are coming for forgiveness i know you are coming to be made as white as snow i know you are coming so that he'll write your name in heaven and he says i forgive i forget all the sins you ever committed in your life if you're coming you'll come out of the crowd there and come out in front here. It says, Come now. Take your Bible, take your bag, take whatever you have there. It says, Come now. It says, Come now. It says, Come now. Don't waste time. Don't let the devil hold you behind and drag you to hell. It says, This is the time to come. Take whatever you have there and come. 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 It's waiting for you. Keep coming. Keep coming. It's waiting for you. Come from the back and say, Lord, I come. I'm leaving my wickedness behind. I'm leaving my iniquity behind. I'm leaving you are listening to our pastor, Pastor W. F. Kumoye, or other anointed minister of God from our ministry. Let the words sink in your heart and they will do you good throughout your whole life. It is our belief by the grace of the Lord that you will come and worship with us at Deeper Life Bible Church, number 4656 Bravo Drive. We have our service every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 11.30. And we have our Bible study on every Monday from 7 to 8.30. As you are doing so, I, the grace of the Lord will continue to be with you and you will never be the same. Thank you. God bless you.